We are here at the Palazzo Versace on the Gold Coast, Australia's first six-star luxury hotel. A fitting place for the launch of the all-new Kia Carnival because it's the South Korean brand's most luxurious car to date. If you're thinking of the old Grand Carnival, this new Carnival looks pretty much nothing like it. It's got the new Peter Schreyer family look and as you get back to the rear, it's got these nice horizontal lines both through the lights and through here and it gives it a very confident look on the road. As far as people movers go, it's a segment that has been eroded by the popularity of SUVs, which provide similar levels of practicality without van-like characteristics. Penned under the watchful eye of former Audi designer Peter Schreier, the new Carnival is a giant step up from its predecessor, a theme that continues inside. The interior quality and fit and finish is the best Kia has ever done. The materials and fabrics are a cut above what we expected, and the creative use of colours to highlight features combined to set the benchmark for its class. In all grades above S, there is an 8-inch satellite navigation system that doubles as a media player, playing both USB and DVDs. This further improves the cabin ambience. In the top-spec Platinum models, there is also a 7-inch TFT supervision display in the instrument cluster. There is tri-zone air conditioning covering all rows in the SI and above variants, as well as four USB ports to keep the gadgets juiced up. All models include a potentially life-saving reversing view camera plus rear parking sensors. The eight seats are quite comfortable and are coated in stain-resistant material, meaning any accidental spills or melted chocolate will not be as big of an issue. There are eight actual seats too, so normal people can fit in each. The third row's three seats are perhaps best left for people shorter than 180 centimeters, but that will hardly be an issue for the car's buyer group. The fact of the matter is, if you need to carry five or more people with plenty of space to go with it, there really is no better choice for the price. This top-spec Platinum model even picks up heated and ventilated front seats, a heated steering wheel and heated outer seats in the second row. The Kia Carnival has six airbags including full-length curtain protection and all the electronic traction and nanny controls you can think of. There are four child seat anchor points but only three of them are Isofix compatible, which is still unbeaten as far as we can tell. It's quite a spacious interior. For example, there are 10 cup holders and 4 bottle holders, or a storage space large enough to fit a few iPads and then some. With the sheer flexibility of the seats, the Carnival can accommodate plenty of luggage or even swallow a whole canoe if it needs to. It's a vehicle designed with kids in mind, and that makes it an ideal place for big families that take trips together. Now for a car that's supposed to carry so many people, it needs to have a relatively decent power unit. Now Kia Australia offers two different systems. One is the 3.3 litre V6 petrol and the other a 2.2 litre turbo diesel. My pick would be the diesel, however the 3.3 is a brand new petrol and it goes pretty well. The petrol will sip a claimed 11.6 litres per 100 kilometres, while the diesel is set to use an average of 7.7 .7 for the same distance. But the concern with the Kia Carnival on the road is not the engines, it's the road manners. Now I'm here in the top spec platinum version and this thing rides on 19 inch wheels and I can tell you straight away that the steering is a little bit vague. Now that's not surprising for a people mover but it is a little bit considering Kia's localized tuning program. However, the plus side of that is the ride comfort. Now that's something Kia has worked quite hard on and I can tell you that this car is supposed to carry eight people and just with me in it on my own, it still feels relatively plush. There are a lot of high-tech features on this car that you probably wouldn't expect, such as blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, and forward collision assist. Now these are things we're not used to seeing in a Kia, which is great, because considering this sort of car, this is exactly what you want your family in. Adaptive cruise control can follow the speed of the car in front and automatically brake and accelerate to adjust to traffic conditions, ideal for long highway drives. Blind spot detection will warn the driver with a beep and an icon in the mirror if a vehicle is sitting in a blind spot. Lane departure warning will beep and bring up an on-screen alert if the carnival moves out of a lane without indicating. Combined with a forward collision warning system, they are potentially life-saving technologies for distracted parents. Now I'm driving on some local Queensland roads here and I gotta tell you, the amount of noise coming into the carnival is pretty minimal. And that's a huge improvement from the previous car. 
As far as value for money goes, there is no doubt that the all-new Kia Carnival is the best people mover on the market.